In this vlog, we are going to see the implementation of Google Pay in Stripe Payment Gateway. So, in our previous tutorials, we have seen integration of Stripe Payment Gateway in our Flutter application, and also in this particular tutorial, we have seen the introduction to the Stripe Payment Gateway and what are the important things to be noted while you are creating a Stripe account. So, I suggest you to go through this particular tutorial if you are watching this tutorial for the first time and also the second tutorial where we have implemented the payment gateway in our flutter application and have also made a payment using card so these two tutorials are very much important for those who are starting with this particular tutorial and now let's get started with the implementation of google pay in our stripe payment sheet i'm going to make few changes in this particular code so this particular code we have seen in our second tutorial where we have made a payment using card and we have made a payment of 100 rupees and here I have specified the currency code to be inr these are all the methods where we have initialized the payment sheet and tried to display the payment sheet and here we have created a payment intent so in the previous tutorial i have clearly explained this particular code line by line so I suggest you to watch that particular tutorial if you are having any queries in this particular code. And now let's start implementing Google Pay in our Flutter application. So let's go back to our console here and here you can clearly see I have not activated my account still and we are just continuing in the test mode and yes in the test mode we can make a payment in Google Pay, Apple Pay and also we can make all the available methods in the stripe here so we can just make use of all the payment methods available here so when you tap on the payment methods over here these are all the payment methods available and here i'm quickly showing you like google pay is enabled for us by default and also apple pay and also cards which we have seen in our previous tutorial so now we are good to start with integrating google pay in our flutter application and let's get back to our code here so here in this particular screen here we have tried to make a payment in our previous tutorial by specifying the card number and all these things and here you can clearly see this is an emulator and that's why we are not able to see google pay option over here and here we have not yet added google pay option and here you can see this is a payment sheet which i was discussing previously and here we are not able to see google pay or apple pay over here and the first thing is like this is an android emulator so you cannot see apple pay over here and we are not able to see google pay as well yes we have not implemented in our code yet but even though if we have implemented we cannot see google pay in android emulator so to see google pay in the device google pay should be installed with an active account that means a card should be present in your google pay account it's like a real time account you need to make use even for testing of google pay you need not worry about the money deduction it will not deduct any amount from your account and it will clearly show you the message also so here i would like to add a variable gpay and here i am going to consider payment sheet google pay and here you are having a payment sheet apple pay as well if you are trying to implement apple pay which i would be showing you in the coming tutorial and the very important thing here is like merchant country code needs to be specified and for this particular tutorial i am going to consider the country code to be gb so that is great britain there are even two more parameters we need to pass over here but again those are optional but I am trying to pass those two parameters as well. If you are not aware of those two parameters, just place your mouse over here. And here you can see required merchant country code. And yes, we have specified it. And the second parameter is currency code here. And the third one is easy test environment. Yes, we are making use of the test environment. So we need to mark it as true over here. So let us try to specify the currency code here. So currency code is gbp and environment 
and test environment yes we are making use of a test environment and when you are trying to make this live make sure you make it false over here and if you go inside and try to see here by default it is false so if you have not specified anything it will consider it like a live mode of google pay so i'm just trying to specify it like true here no amount from our account will be deducted so yes we have created a payment sheet google pay here and we have specified the configuration and i suggest you to add your currency code and country code here as per your country where you are living so let us consider this particular gpay variable here and now we need to add this to our particular payment sheet which we have seen here so this is a payment sheet and i just want to add google pay and here let us try to add google pay over here we are having an option to add google pay as well to our existing payment sheet so i am just specifying it over here and what are all the other parameters we can add to our payment sheet here so customer id mfrl key secret and mainly when we see here we also have apple pay and google pay also here and theme modes like style i have specified light here so you can specify dark and if you are having any queries in the other parameters just let me know in the comment section below i will try to help you with configuring them and now we have added gpay to our existing payment sheet and here you can clearly see we are trying to initialize the payment sheet payment sheet by adding gpay to it and the third step is like displaying payment sheet so now let's try to run this particular code and see the output and now one more important aspect before trying to run this particular code is like you need to go to the android manifest file here and make sure you add this particular metadata such that gpay is recognized and it will load up when you try to tap on pay with google pay button in the payment sheet so this is an important step just try to add this particular line of code and even i am going to specify the code in the description section below and if you are having any queries you can just go through it and now let's try to run this particular code and i am going to make use of a real time device to run this particular code so here you can see i try to run the code on a real time device and our output you can see over here i am trying to show through screen capture because i am trying to show you through the screen capture and once i tap on buy now here i am trying to tap on recapture here you can see we have got like pay with gpay option over here so in this particular device there is gpay installed and that's why we are able to see pay with gpay button over here and also previously i have i have shown you few parameters like so in the same way you can just customize this particular payment sheet and also this particular gpay button over here and now i am trying to tap on this particular gpay button and here you cannot capture this particular screen but don't worry i will try to show you an, and when we tap on this particular button so this particular screen is now visible you are aware like you need to have an email id using which you can configure your gpay account so in the gpay here we have got like some payment methods displayed over here and you may get a question like how you are able to see this particular payment methods have you added anything because this is a test environment right and here clearly you can see app is currently running with a test environment so in the test environment we are not going to make use of a real time cards over here we are going to make use of a test mode cards only let's go to the google here and and try to specify gpay test card and when you specify this particular thing the very first link you are going to get is the test card suit here and you need to go inside this particular test card suit link and you need to tap on test card suit group so here you can see in this particular account i have already joined this particular google pay api test card allow list here and it is showing me a message like you can now access our test card suit here no further action is required so i'm just trying to close this particular window and 
this is the way how you try to add test card suit to your particular email address here and you can clearly see here pay abhi is displayed over here and how come this particular pay abhi is displayed here is like we have specified merchant display name to be abhi here so that's why it is displayed over here in the same way and you can also see why we have not made use of INR here as currency code because currently in India Google Pay and Apple Pay unavailable for merchants and customers in India on Stripe checkout and Stripe elements so that is why the reason I am trying to make use of country code to be GB here that is Great Britain and also currency code as well so now let's try to make a payment over here and before making a payment let's try to move to the payments here so in the payments you can clearly see I have previously made two payments over here and now let's try to make another payment here and now it's processing currently and our payment is made over here and let's try to refresh this particular view so that you can see the payment appearing over here now and when you tap inside you can clearly see like our payment is made successful now and here you can see it is clearly showing like google symbol over here that is gpay and we have made use of a visa card over here you can also tap on this particular refund button if you want to cancel this particular payment and again in app level also you can just implement a cancel transaction just like you make in any application so that we'll be going to see in another tutorial if you are really interested to implement in app level as well so when you tap on refund here there is an option like reason so i'm just selecting requested by user and tapping on refund over here and here you can see the status is now clearly specify like this refund has been initiated and let's go back to the payments here and from successful payments here that particular payment is now removed and when you go to the refunded here you can clearly see that particular payment in payment section so this is it for the implementation of google pay in your flutter application using stripe payment gateway so i think this is very clear for you and if you are having any queries just let me know in the comment section below and the code for this tutorial is provided in the description section below so yes this is it for this particular tutorial for more interesting content on flutter stay subscribed to our channel